Uh, it's <laughs> what you earn about. You can get whatever you wanted to give. Like these are everything. You're gonna notice her when she walks in the room. How could I not have gotten this? Do you see the details? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shade Abdullahad. My channel is all about fashion, luxury lifestyle, travel, and now motherhood. If you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. <laughs> my son is looking at me. <laughs> go ahead and click that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. Okay. In today's video, we are doing a luxury collective haul. I have a lot of things that have been piling up and I want to share them with you. Okay. <laughs> Um, <laughs> if you like this type of content, go ahead and grab a snack, have a seat, and let's get started on the haul. Guys, I don't know why my boobies look so big right now, like I'm not pumping anymore. They look huge. But anyway, <laughs> um, so I have on some old stuff. This is a Zara top from like last season. My pants are free, people. I live by these pants, okay? They are the best investment I have best pair of pants i've ever purchased from free people like i'll post up a picture on the side i love these pants i haven't seen them since since i bought them and i've had these pants for like over six years um put that down put it down louis vuitton earrings lip glosses dior i will have to just give y'all all the stuff that i did to do my makeup i'm trying to practice and get good because the Beyonce is coming up and I ain't got time to be scheduling a makeup artist and waiting on their t and, you know, waiting for them to get here. And I just don't have time. So I have to make sure I know how to do my own makeup. OK, I do have my hair, hair appointment scheduled and I am getting my nails done, of course. But yeah, makeup, I'm going to go ahead and knock that out myself. OK, all right, y'all. So Junior is on the side over there with his snacks. Gracie's Corner is on for him. I hope and pray that this video is not that long and it keeps him occupied okay oh and i have in i have clip-ins in my head right now a lot of people are asking questions about my hair in my past vlogs these are clip-ins they're from go sleek she's on instagram it is go sleek hair i believe okay i think that's everything <laughs> yeah that's everything all right let's get started on the haul first things first we're gonna do clothes um i already opened it the box the way this came in the box the box was toe up okay look at the box it looked like somebody had already opened it to see what it was and then they like taped it back with the dhl tape ghetto uh let's see if the receipt is in here it is Okay, so this item is from Kai. She is a black owned designer. Uh, I have been wanting to buy something from her for the longest, but I just didn't know what I wanted to buy. And her stuff is not cheap, okay? Uh, so I wanted to make sure it was something that I for sure know I'm gonna wear, not only wear again, but I'm going to love, okay? So once she posted this dress, I immediately went to the website to go purchase it and it was sold out. So she restocked it. I even sent her a DM. I'm like, hey girl, when are you restocking this dress? She restocked it, immediately purchased. Um, so this is the Amira or Amira. I think it's the Amira. Amira oversized long sleeve shirt dress, okay? It comes in two sizes, small, medium and medium large. I got the small, medium. Oh, I feel like I gotta sneeze this is how it came i like this this is cute uh spoiler alert i already opened it up and tried it on because i feel like this might be my dress i think it is i think i'm gonna wear this to the beyonce concert i know she said we're silver honey but i'm not a silver girl 
Okay, so sorry, Beyonce. I've already had this planned. Um, yeah, not wearing silver. I'm not a tin man. Okay, this is the dress. This is the dress. It's so, I love, I love all the colors. I love the sleeves. Oh my God, and it's really oversized. I'll put up a little video of me trying it on. Um, now, the only thing is I'm a little disappointed because the some of the buttons are like a, looking a little flimsy, like this one right here, like, and for the for the amount of money I paid for this sweat this dress, baby, these buttons need to be stuck glued on here. Okay, I don't want to see no jiggling, none of that for the amount of money I paid for this. Okay, and I don't be spending that much money on other people's stuff like that. So, I love it. I feel like I can wear this over and over and over again. There's just so many colors that you can pull from to where you can create multiple outfits. I'm gonna do a reel to where I do at least like 10 outfits with this with this dress. I think I'm gonna do it this week or maybe next week, the beginning of, cause next week is like B's weekend or B's week. Like that's the week that she's gonna be here. So I may just do this and like upload it on Monday, post it Monday. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I ordered two dresses for Moda Operanda. Look at my uh, look at my little box cutter. How cute is this? Um, now I ordered these for my birthday because I thought, ooh, I'm gonna lose all this weight before my birthday. Child, I did not lose the weight. Still trying to lose <laughs> the weight, and I just did not even open this box. Okay, and I got this back in, I think I got these back in March. It's September. It's September, y'all. Oh, honestly, I don't even remember the brand that I, oh. Oh, nice packaging. Oh my, oh, look at that. This is an international brand, uh, international store. Mm. So I really thought that it was gonna take a long time for me to get this. This came like within, I think less than two weeks. And I was really impressed. So this is the envelope for my receipt. So I, oh, okay, okay, I remember now. I got two dresses. Uh, both of them are from Christopher Esper. Uh, one of them is a ruched maxi dress, maxi column dress. The other one is a reversed halter ruched maxi dress. Each of them were around 250. Anything that costs over a thousand dollars, I'm not gonna tell y'all the price. Like if y'all really wanna know how much it costs, y'all have to go do your research on your own, okay? Oh, this one is risque, honey. I'm definitely not wearing this until I lose the weight. Look at this, look, this is the top right here, okay? This is the bottom. This is the bottom of the dress. It has a zipper in the back. It's very long, it's a maxi. Oh, but yeah, this is a sexy dress. This is definitely gonna be worn when I lose 20 more pounds, okay? So we'll save this for next summer. This other dress uh, looks pretty big. I'm gonna post up pictures of what the dresses look like on the side over here. You really working my nerves. You really working my nerves right now. I swear to God. Oh, this came, oh, I like this. This came with a hanger. Oh, this is the back. Okay, so this is the back. This is the front. That's the top. This is the bottom. So again, has to be worn when I lose the weight because obviously, clearly the stomach right here is out. This is another maxi dress. I love it. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. But it is gorgeous. So yeah, this year, well, not really this year now because the year is almost over. Like next year, I want to start buying more runway pieces, you know, runway items off the runway or even just, you know, luxury brand name clothing. And I'm only buying pieces, I'm only buying pieces that I know I can wear over and over again. I'm not buying nothing that costs a lot of money that I can only wear one time. That's not me. I'm not that girl. Okay. I rework my outfits. <laughs> yeah, that's all the clothes that I got. So now we're gonna go on to the bags. Ooh. 
I don't know what this little piece of hair is doing right here. Like, it's so annoying. Ugh. Like, just stay over there. Okay. Ugh. Okay, so this bag is from a Black-owned designer. Um, the company is called, I mean, well, her company or her brand is called PMPR & Co. Honestly, do not know what that stands for. But this is how it came. When I saw this bag, I actually saw, what's up? What? You don't need to touch the iPad. Leave the iPad alone. No, sit down. Thank you. Leave the iPad alone. Okay. Um. So this bag, I first saw it on D-Lo on her Instagram. I was like, oh my God, girl, where did you get that bag? So she tagged the, she sent me the information to this lady who uh, designed this bag. This woman. This Like why he keep doing this every time I start talking? That's 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 what's killing me. <laughs> He's so disrespectful. <laughs> Swear to God. She sews each one of these bags by her like by herself. She doesn't have a team. She's doing all of this on her own. Like that has to be acknowledged, okay? That that should be rewarded. Like, so when I went on the website, I was scrolling and I was like, oh, I want this bag. I asked, it said it was sold out. I was like, you don't, are you going to restock this? Do you have any more of these bags? No, it's sold out, but I'm going thrifting this weekend. So if you like, I can find you a pair of jeans. And I was like, oh yes, honey. I want Tommy Hilfiger. No, not, not Tommy Hilfiger. I said, I want Polo or, um, what was the other one? Wrangler. She sent me a picture of the Polo jeans. And let me just tell you. She did not disappoint. Is this not the cutest freaking denim bag like ever? How cute is this bag? She literally takes a pair of jeans and cut, I think she cuts the pocket off. And girl, I don't know. So this is how it looks. Look, it's like this, right? Okay. And then it just basically goes loop like this. And you just hold it on your wrist. Or you can hold it like, you know, in your hand. But I absolutely love this denim bag. This is so cute right here, okay? I love it. And then, you know, if you want, you can put... This is actually a pocket. So you can put stuff in here on the front as well. So, yeah. I'm very impressed with her stitching. The inside is like a satin black material. Has her label logo here. Has her logo here. But I just, I really love this bag. So cute. And I have been looking for a denim bag too. I was about to break down and buy one from Zara, but I was just like, it's just not, it's just not doing it for me. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, I have to have it. So we have her now. And I ordered some uh, denim shoes from Amazon, cheaper than Zara. And they look I haven't seen them in person, but I'm fingers crossed. I hope they look really good because I already checked the the um the wash of the oh dear god help me please. Um the next bag I'm so excited about. Wait till you see it. Hold on. <gasps> okay, so this bag is from Fendi. Now I have been wanting this bag for a while. I just didn't know which color I wanted it in. And then when I saw, when I saw this one on the website, I was like, oh, that's the one. Oh, this is the Nano Fendi Graphy. Um, the color is silver. It is out of stock, okay? Um, it is a hobo bag. So it's a hobo bag with Fendi lettering. You can pretty much wear this bag like on your wrist. Um, you can attach it to a bigger bag, so you should pretty much know what I'm talking about. This is her. And I've already worn her, okay? I've already worn her. I could not wait. I was so thirsty to take her out the bag. This is her. She's absolutely gorgeous, okay? Like just... Oh my gosh. So the this is like the crackling silver, okay? And we are wearing her to the Beyonce concert. I need to call the stadium and make sure I can bring a bag that's not see-through. I need to make sure. But yeah, so you just clip her here. Clip her here. It's like full of stuffing. So it's kind of bending a little bit. But you can clip her on your wrist. You can clip her. Let me show you what it looks like on the wrist. So you can clip her. You can wear her like this, honey. 
wear her around the wrist wear it around the wrist or you can clip it to a bigger Fendi bag okay yeah I'm so happy about this one yeah hubby surprised me with this one I was not expecting this bag but I absolutely love it okay okay moving on to the next bag <sighs> okay so I already have a Lueve bag um but it's not like like a bag bag you know what I mean like it is the the um the raffia bag the white one and that's that's like a vacation bag this this bag is a bag bag okay so let's go ahead and open her up are you ready y'all like, are you kidding me? This is my first Lueve bag, y'all. This is my first Lueve bag. Do you see the colors? This is so me. This is so me. Funny story, I first saw a Lueve bag, a Lueve bag on a Chinese woman in New York. This was back when me and Akbar used to go back and forth to New York. We used to go at least two times a year. This was before COVID. And I saw the brown, I guess, camel color on this Chinese lady in the hotel. I was like, oh my gosh, your bag is so cute. And she told me the brand. She said it was a wave. I was like, well, do you like it? It looks really small. This was the mini that she had on. Um, and was it the mini? No, no, no. I think it was a small. It was a small. The sizes are really weird, y'all. Um, I'll post up here, like, the difference in size. Like, there's a mini, a small, a medium, and then there's an extra large. The small actually looks like the medium bag, but it's not. But anyway, I saw the bag on her, asked her if she liked it. She was like, yeah, it's really roomy. And she was like, it's a great bag. The leather is nice. I was like, oh, okay. So a couple years passed by, hadn't seen a Lueve anything. Like, you know, because sometimes Chinese people be the ones to like pop off the, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they be the ones popping off the, the designs, the stylish, the style and all that stuff. So next time I saw the bag was here. I used to work part-time at Bath and Body Works. I used to be in, I used to work in retail if you did not know um I saw this bag same bag on another lady and I was like I'm really starting to like this bag and then I started to see it on black black women like because every time I would see this bag it was on a white woman Chinese woman I never seen a black woman wear it so I've started seeing black women wear it like re, you know like like the within the past couple of years and I was like I think I want the Lueve bag but I just didn't know what kind I would get like it has to be a color scheme that really went with my style and this is me all day okay and she smells so good um so this bag is actually sold out okay we got the last one at Neiman's um they had they have it on they had it on fashion file it's sold out they had it on the real real the real real was the only one that had it cheaper than the price that it is in, that it's going for in the store. Fashion File had it for the damn near the same price as it is in the store. Like, what? Why? Why even put it on there? Like, that doesn't make any sense. It's literally it was literally maybe like a hundred dollars cheaper. If that's the case, I'm just gonna go to the store and did okay. But yeah, she's she's beautiful. I love the colors. I think I said the color already. It's green oak. Okay. And this is the older version of the Lueve bag. The newer version, I will post up a video. Uh, when I went to the store, I, I looked at it. I got to see it up close and personal. I don't like the new version. Stop it. Stop it. The material folds over. This right here is just so interesting. Okay. It draws you in because of the stitching, the different leather materials that they have to sew together. And this is the back. Like, I just really like this style of the Lueve bag. Um, let me show you the inside. And it comes with a strap. This is the strap. And this is the inside of the bag. It has a lot of space. Like this, I, oh, I can't wait to, this is a perfect bag for fall. Perfect bag for fall. I can't wait to wear it. As a matter of fact, the pants that I have on right now is gonna eat with this bag okay if you want a history lesson on this bag i would go to cassie's channel 
she also like I went I saw I recently saw her video about the Loewe bag and she told me some stuff that I didn't even know okay <laughs> brands like Loewe, Jill Sonder, um JW Anderson or I'm trying to think of another Dre's like those design those those brands I really didn't know too much about until I started following Sididi in the city and London girl NYC or something like that those two females love their style down okay they put me on to some brands that i probably would have never known about but anyway moving right along let's go to the next bag. after we got that bag i immediately ran to the real real and fashion file looking for a wallet okay or a card holder something so i found one oh not my address baby i found something at the real stop come on now Bro, I gotta hurry up and do this video. <laughs> I gotta hurry up and finish this video. When I say this little card holder goes perfectly with the bag, y'all. How can how could I not have gotten this? Do you see the details? Do you see the details of this card holder? It is so freaking cute. And when I say the leather is so plush, it's so soft. Oh, it's so buttery soft. This is the inside. I love. The inside has a little Weve logo there. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Now this this the price tag is three twenty five. I did not pay that. I think I paid. I think I paid maybe like a hundred and thirty six. Let me see real quick. Okay, I forgot to show you guys this Brandon Blackwood bag. She is absolutely gorgeous. It's pony hair. Oh, it feels so good. I actually got it on sale, I think for $175. It's originally $350 or $400. Uh, I can't remember, but I'll post it up here. But oh my gosh, this bag, this was actually my first choice. I wanted to wear this to the Beyonce concert. But as you can see, the B is there, has the Brandon Blackwood logo. And this is how it opens. So it opens up here. Doesn't open up too much, but you can fit a lot in this bag. Um, and it comes with a strap. Okay, so you can wear it crossbody. But she's she's a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Perfect for fall and winter, honey. Oh, absolutely love it. And there's a gray fur jacket that I I did on my last luxury haul. She's going to eat with that jacket. Okay. Like a regular bag. It's an it bag. Okay. Like it's going to turn heads. You're going to notice her when she walks in the room. It's given fashion. So like I was saying, these are the high tops. And this was the collab in collaboration with um, Travis Scott. And then these are also in collaboration with Travis Scott. I don't know if you guys can see it with the lighting. I don't know. But they, these are, I think these are called the dunks, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah. Honey, hubby is literally turning me into a sneakerhead. Okay. Oh, they smell good too. Look at these, y'all. Oh my God. Are these not everything? Look at the her look at the I hope you guys can see I hope you guys can see the shoe oh, oh. it's <laughs> what you earn about these shoes are everything y'all they are so beautiful like even if you're not a sneaker girl this this shoe right here you'll want to wear this like you can I can literally dress these these sneakers up Y'all, we're gonna wrap this video up, okay? We got to wrap this video up, but leather, it just smells so good. Oh my gosh, the the smell of new shoes smells good. Okay, so now we're gonna. Why? Why? Okay, last but not least, we're gonna do my accessories. You should have already seen these glasses because I have been raving and just ooh. 
Y'all would have seen, if you follow me on Instagram, you already seen these. If you follow me on TikTok, you already seen me do an unboxing. So I was looking for some white glasses. Of course, I went to the real real. These popped up. I said, oh baby, I got to have these. When I say they're, they are my style, okay? They're my style. Like, y'all. Every time I take them out the back. How could I not? How could I not? They are everything. Y'all. Oh. Mm. It's giving money. It's giving money, okay? It's giving little Kim vibes. Okay, I don't know. It, it can give whatever you want it to give. It can give classy, ratchet, ghetto fabulous. You know what I'm saying? Like, it can give whatever you want it to give. Like, these are everything. Definitely investment. Definitely going to be wearing them for years to come. Like, they're just, oh, I got to take this makeup off. First pair of oval shades. And I got to organize this little area right here. It's super messy. But my first pair of, like, oval, like, what is it like glam girl shades are from desi once i purchased these i was in love i said i need these like i love this shape i love the oval shape and it's giving 90s glam so hence why i needed these so that's cream this is white like they're not the same you need cream and you need white glasses like these are beautiful i think there were 400 i paid 260 for these glasses the next pair of glasses i'm so excited for i'm so excited to have them in my collection like ooh, just give me give me give me give me give me because oh i'm getting excited i'm actually getting turned on is that weird i'm getting turned on let me stop because i'm in front of my son but these balenciaga sunglasses okay Two times I tried to get these sunglasses and they sold out like quick. So once I saw them pop up again, oh, I backed them. I backed them. I backed them. Like what? Look at the details. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my gosh, they're everything. They're everything. I love them. I love them so much. Oh, uh, now I was debating and I had to ask my friend Carl. I was like, do you think I should get these? And I had already asked him if I should get these Versace glasses. And he was like, well, just get one of them. I was like, ooh, but I need both. So I got both of them. But let me tell y'all how much these are going for on the website. These. I don't know they got again they have these as cat eye are they cat eye maybe they are maybe these are cat eye but the other ones were definitely not cat eye these balenciaga sunglasses are retailing for 520 dollars are you okay so there are quite a few items that did not make this video so i'm gonna have to do a part two like a luxury haul part two because it's about six or seven items that got cut out i have no idea what happened to my footage but I just wanted to show you this bracelet. It is a leather bracelet. It's so cute. Um, and it's Lueve. So I just had to include this video because, of course, I did the Lueve bag and the wallet or the card holder. So I didn't want to put this little one piece in the next video that I'm going to do. So let's just put this on. It connects here. So cute. And it's heavy, too. But yeah, simple little, you know, something chic. Very simple, you know, we're doing silver now. Well, not now, but it's coming back. Cause I used to wear silver and then I stopped. I just got into gold, like I was uh, obsessed with gold. But now, you know, silver is coming back. So wear her with my little Bottega dupes. But yeah, she's cute, okay? But again, we're gonna do a part two, okay? I'm in my pajamas and my house coat. <laughs> so you're not gonna see my face but now let's go back to the video 
You just want me to hold you? Okay. All right, y'all. We got one more pair of sunglasses left, okay? So if you see a little fro, this is my baby. I'm holding my baby, because he can't be still. So, um, like I was saying, the Balenciaga sunglasses are way too much. They're retailing, they're, they're way too much online. Uh, so I definitely recommend purchasing them, if you can find them. I definitely recommend purchasing them on consignment, okay? They're not worth $520. They're just not. They're not. Not for those sunglasses. And what's crazy is the price went up because when I tried to buy them on the website, they were not $520. They were around four, four, I think they were $450. They were $450. So because they are so popular, they raised the price. Like, are y'all serious? That's why I'm not even shopping at the stores like that. Anyway, my last pair of sunglasses. I was definitely influenced to purchase these. Like I, I thought about getting them and I was like, mm -mm, I'm not getting them. They're too much money. They're way too much money. But Miss Beyonce just kept, I kept seeing Miss Beyonce wear these glasses. Okay. Stop baby. Stop. Lord, if he break these glasses, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Y'all might not see him no more. Okay. Cause he better not break these glasses. I don't know if I, t I don't know if you watch my, I, did I, I put it in my Instagram stories. Y'all, he broke a pair of my Tom Ford glasses. Like I was walking and I turned around and I see him ripping them apart. Like, like, like just, I said, no, I was too late. I got there too late. So anyway, are you ready? <laughs> Baby. Baby. <laughs> Baby, uh, baby, <laughs> like what? These are the wave, the, the Lueve wave glasses. And these ain't cheap, baby. These by far is not cheap, okay? They cost a pretty penny. Like, luckily I ain't bought them, hubby bought them. Cause he already knew I wasn't going. But yeah, he surprised me with those because he was like, you're going to the Beyonce concert and I just wanted you to, I was like, thank you so much. Thank you. They are statement glasses, okay? They're everything, everything. All right, y'all, I'm wrapping this video up because my baby is getting restless. He's tired of me filming. He's tired of me talking on camera to y'all, okay? That is everything I got. Um, I will link any items that I find available, but a lot of these items were uh, consignment. Okay, so just know that. Um, if you... <laughs> um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we end this video, I had a couple of questions to ask you guys. Um, so, yeah, I know I had asked you guys, like, what type of content do you want to see from me? And a lot of you guys were saying styling videos. And I had did two styling videos, baby, back to back. Y'all didn't show them videos that much love. So it's like... I, do I need to ask you guys or do I need to just do I'm just gonna do what I, I'm just gonna upload what I want to upload because clearly you guys are asking me to post certain type of videos and y'all not showing the videos any love like come on come on so I want to know I genuinely want to know what you guys come to this channel for like what do you get from this channel what do you get from my channel what do you come to get from me on my channel okay for, for example, when I go to Pockets and Bows channel, Brittany, I know I'm going to get a haul, some hauls, clothing hauls, perfume hauls. I know she's going to school me on mixing fragrances. I'm going to get some luxury hauls. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of makeup here and there and some lifestyle vlogs. I know that's what I'm getting from Brittany. When I go to Cassie's channel, I know I'm going to get a history lesson on luxury items. I'm going to get a history lesson in fashion and she has all the bags. She has all the bags. Okay. Love her accent. Y'all know I love me some London accents. Um, when I go to, okay, channels that I've been loving right now, or, uh, it's Carolyn Gray and Jen, Jeronica, is it Jeronica Mycia? Something like that. I've been loving their channels. Like Jeronica Mycia, I haven't seen anyone on here talking about therapy. And when I go to her channel, she's, you know, I think she's opening 
uh, black people up to therapy and you're gonna get vlogs from her you're gonna get history lessons on archive items so yeah and then when I go to it's Carolyn Gray I love her fashion um, she's a funny girl funny quirky girl and she also like I just like her take on fashion as well so with that being said I want to genuinely know please guys tell me in the comments below what do you guys come to my channel for what do you get from me okay what do you enjoy what do you like about my channel let me know I really want to hear from you okay um the next video the next videos that are coming up um I'm gonna do luxury items I would never wear that video is coming up I'm gonna do another uh pre-fall outfits video and I'm also going to start tapping into my motherhood videos okay I know y'all been asking me to do those I'm gonna tap into those as well um we're gonna start off with my nine months recap because I still have not finished that series and it's tugging at me like I have to finish that series uh so we're gonna do that before I do any of the mommy videos and then what else what else I think that's it yeah I think that's it I'm gonna start doing more luxury um hauls and stuff like not hauls but I'm gonna start doing more luxury videos like because my wall is coming it's um I'm gonna order my little units on the back side of this <laughs> On the back side of this camera behind this camera will be my wall for like bags and shoes so once i feel like once everything is up and i can see it i can talk more you know what i mean about my collections and stuff like that because i still have not done a bag collection but i want to i would like to i just don't have everything out so i can't see everything so once that's done i will finally do a bag collection um, and I'll just be doing more luxury videos. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. We need to be on the algorithm. Okay. I will see you on the next video. Look, look, look. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>